Hey everybody, it's Eric Steele here at Outdoor Retailer Summer Market 2018, and I'm here with Tim Connolly from BioLife. Uh, they've got this great new camp stove. Uh, makes really, uh, well, not really a stove. It's more like a well, well, fire pit. A fire pit that makes really efficient use of the of the wood that you put it put in there by blowing the air around and actually getting the, all the gases uh, a chance to actually get burned up instead of going out up in smoke. Right. Um, not the first cool, innovative fire solution product from BioLite, right. um, but definitely new for, I haven't seen it yet, I've seen this before. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here, Tim? Yeah, so uh, this is our new fire pit, uh, debuting it at OR this week. Um, so it uses uh, our same clean combustion technology that we have in our previous stoves. Uh, we just scaled it up much larger. Can you still pull power off of it for to charge your cell phone? Uh, you can plug in the uh, USB port. Uh, uh -huh. This one does not have a generator on it. Uh, like the, the smaller stove, but uh, it uses the same principle of the blower inside the housing that pushes air into this manifold, and then it's the pressure is split down three tubes. Uh, there's two on the top and one on the bottom with all these jet holes to push air directly onto the fuel from underneath, and then up on top to uh, get it into the flames. So when you turn up the fan, you can... You can turn up the fire just by turning up the fan? Yep, yeah, so wow. it how, how, how handy is that? If you don't yeah. like how hot your, your campfire is, just go turn the fat fan up on it. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty so cool. I am still curious about it. I didn't quite get the answer I was looking for on that uh, USB. Uh, could I charge my tablet off that? Could I charge my cell phone? Yeah, it has uh, about a two amp output uh, oh, yeah. and a uh, 10,000 milliamp battery pack. So That's uh, significant. You could charge a, a, an iPad like two or three times off of that. Probably. Uh, yeah, I don't have the numbers right now off the top of my head. I'm having such trouble with this, this cord. Or we'll, we'll just keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so we, we recommend people only charge uh, when the unit's not working. Like, <laughs> that makes you don't sense, wanna, right? You don't, you don't want to get your devices too hot. So uh, <laughs> the power pack actually is removable. So you could take it into your tent and oh, okay. connect your devices to it. Or if you How need it, you can run a light off of it. How is it for weather resistance? If you say you went to sleep and you had that out in the camp and you woke up in the morning and it had rained overnight, yeah, it, it can, it can, that or it do you can hold to up. take it apart every night? Uh, it can hold up to a light rain. Oh, uh, okay. we, we recommend people uh, take it inside. Uh, we have a, a, a carry case that is a like, nylon cover that has an integrated solar panel. So users can top off the battery during the day Oh, uh, and that's included in the package? Uh, it'll be extra. That's in the, but it's optional accessory. for you to get a, a solar panel that will work with this unit. Yeah, so you can the put the cover out. over it. It can stay out in the rain uh, cool. and put it in a sunny place and it'll keep the battery uh, cool. topped off. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to see if I have any other questions for you. What's, a, what's the MSRP on it? How much is it? Uh, $199. $199? Mm -hmm. where, where can I find it? Uh, it'll be available at a lot of outdoor stores like REI. Uh, uh, Bass Pro. And uh, when, when can I buy it? <laughs> uh, in, in August. In August? Yep. Wow, that's great. Um, well, Tim, the, yeah, that's that's uh, really cool. I love innovative stuff like this, you know, and um, this this show, more, I've been to many trade shows, but outdoor retailer trade show, more than most, is, a, is what I call like a mousetrap trade show, where all these inventors come in, these yep. guys have, <laughs> really big, big ideas, mad scientists, right? And uh, they, and they wind up putting stuff out. And so, really, you can, you can come to this market with an idea, a product, and a little over, I don't know, not a whole lot of money, and you could maybe have an opportunity to either find investors or, you know, get that product to market. So, it, it's really amazing how I've seen it happen so many times here, where somebody's come with one good idea, and five years later, they've got a whole company. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Check out our booth upstairs. We got our whole product line. It's kind of uh, your story too, right? You guys, when I first met you, well, no, I didn't meet you, but when I first saw the BioLite, mm -hmm. um, that the uh, coffee pot one that you had? The kettle pot. The kettle pot. Yeah. That was at uh, Summer Market in Salt Lake City. Right. And mm -hmm. that was almost eight years ago. And I, you know, that, I was blown away then. And uh, again, like if you come to the market with a good product, not only are you going to, you know, you're going to have a lot of opportunity presented to you, but mm -hmm. <laughs> better keep moving because as soon as you drop that product on the market within 18 months it, it, you'll have competitors and so that that's another piece of the whole puzzle that yeah. you can't get away from imitation is the most sincere form of flattery right exactly <laughs> well tim thank you very much for your time thank you yeah, yeah thank you very much. and uh if you want to check out more about the what do we call the camp stove what's the name of it fire this pit? is the fire pit 
you want to find out more about the fire pit, where, where do you do? Where do you need to go? To uh, BioLightEnergy.com. We have awesome. Our whole website, you can see our whole product lineup, anywhere from the, the stoves to solar panels to uh, battery packs, uh, okay. LED lights, and also you can read up on our, uh, on our mission of our products that we provide for users in, uh, in Kenya and East Africa. So we oh. have the whole side of the business for... Oh, no, I have a uh, second. Can you yep. tell me about that? Yeah, so we, uh, we have what we call a parallel, in parallel innovation, where a lot of our uh, problem solving and solutions for the outdoor market get transferred over to East Africa. So people who are uh, cooking over wood every day for all their meals, uh, we provide the same clean combustion technology in a larger size stove uh, that is much healthier for them. They're not breathing in the smoke that can cause uh, respiratory uh, disease and, well, and don't um, some people in some countries burn dung yeah like, all kinds of biomass and yeah. so you if you're cooking around that you probably want it to be used up as much as possible yeah, you want to does that use that that other stove that you provide them with does that use the same fan technology it does it? yeah yeah so there's oh. the same air jets in the combustion chamber that burn the, the smoke away in the flames and uh, and then also the the generator is super helpful they can plug in their uh, cell phone and charge it up and so have lighting in their house because they, they don't have so electricity. So the kids could study at night. Yep, that's yep. a huge issue is uh -huh. not even being able to read. <coughs> and we have know, a uh, also new product, uh, uh, solar home system. So it's a, a solar panel that they install on their rooftop. And then there's a, a large battery pack that's uh, basically screwed onto the wall in their, in their house that has uh, three lights that come off of it. So they can illuminate their house at night uh, off of one well, solar panel on the rooftop. That's really cool. Thank you, Tim. Are you, um, so the, the country that you're working with mostly is Kenya or is it all throughout Africa? Uh, just Kenya and Uganda right now. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so. that's great. So mm -hmm. if you want to find out more about their, uh, uh, what would you call it, a social responsibility initiative? Yeah, or, or, our mission. Or, yeah. or about BioLite's mission and what they're looking to accomplish here being in the market. You can find that at uh, the website. BioLiteEnergy.com. Awesome. Yep. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, thank you.